Hello and welcome to a new episode of our weekly show, Global Insight. I'm your host, Hassan Younes. President Barack Obama outlined an ambitious second term agenda in January 2013. But it didn't take long for the second term curse to set in. The Obama administration was plagued by controversy and scandal a few short months into the president's second term. The scandals are related to Benghazi report, the internal service revenue or the internal revenue service and spying on the reporters of the Associated Press. This is accompanied by the challenges striking the US on the local and international arena. Hence, President Obama faces many obstacles that impede his mission in his second term and many opportunities that can be seized. What are the repercussions of these scandals, especially before the Congress elections next year? And what other obstacles does Obama face? Is Obama being up to the expectations after around five months of assuming the office of the president? To discover deep insights about these questions, among others, I'm glad to have in the studio Dr. Naeem Salem, a political analyst and international affairs professor at Notre Dame University, and we'll have via link Dr. Hilal Khashan, a political analyst and political science professor at American University, or at the American University of Beirut. Hello, uh, Dr. Naeem Salem, and I'm glad to have you, uh, uh, Dr. Hilal Khashan. Okay. Uh, before uh, shedding lights on the challenges and the opportunities that Obama might face, and before having, uh, we will have more insights actually through a report about the three scandals which have uh, been uh, controversial in the U.S. very lately. Uh, a report, and we'll be back. Five months after U.S. President Barack Obama's second term inauguration, many obstacles are hindering the smooth flow of his mission. These obstacles are both related to local and international political challenges facing the U.S. What made it harder to face these challenges were the three scandals that the Obama's administration has been accused of recently. The repercussions of the said scandals are harsh, especially in light of a Republican attempt to exploit them. The first scandal took place when the Internal Revenue Service targeted conservative social welfare nonprofits seeking tax exempt status under Section 501c4 of the Internal Revenue Code. Evidences established that hundreds of groups affiliated with the Tea Party movement were bullied and intimidated from engaging in constitutionally protected political activism. The president vowed to do everything in his power to make sure nothing like this happens again and held the responsible parties accountable. The scandal over the terrorist attacks on the U.S. diplomatic mission in Benghazi, Libya on September 11 of last year remains, especially as the incident marked the 11th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks on New York's World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Obama and then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton are used of having known from the beginning that the Benghazi consulate was under attack but lied about what happened there. The U.S. Department of Justice secretly procured two months worth of telephone logs for journalists at the Associated Press, one of the world's largest news agencies. Apparently, the records were seized as a part of an investigation into national security related leaks. These three scandals have encircled the Obama administration. They threaten to turn the president's second term into an ongoing partisan battle as some seek answers which might trigger investigations and resignations. Lately, there have been all kinds of comparisons between Obama scandals and the 1972 Watergate scandal, which led to U.S. President Richard Nixon's resignation to cover up his involvement. The potential influence of these scandals on Obama's second term, especially ahead of the Congress elections next year, has been highly debatable in the last few days. To raise the sensitivity of this issue, it was coincided with global challenges which Obama vowed to face in his ambitious second term agenda outlined in January 2013.
Hello again, Dr. Naeem Salem. Uh, in fact, as we've seen in the report, Obama has faced many challenges in addition to these scandals. After, ha after five months of having had assumed uh, the office of the president, how can you evaluate these five months uh, of Obama's presidency? Was he able to face these challenges or not so far? Generally, uh, whether in his uh, first term or in his second uh, term or her second term, a U.S. president uh, is put more on the spotlight. So uh, particularly what is, uh, being, is called in the United States the first 100 uh, days of mm -hmm. the presidency. And, and now we are in the fi first 500, uh, 100 days actually. Uh, uh, more yeah. than that. We have, uh, uh, yeah, uh, around process. 120. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, therefore there is much focus on, on the uh, presidency and uh, Barack Obama personally, particularly that the Republican in, in the U.S. want to have a shot early on in the, uh, in the second term of Barack Obama to uh, get at the uh, uh, Democrat in the election which are uh, coming, midterm election which are coming uh, next, next year. year. So we, we have seen yani, in the United States yani, uh, the political opponent would do any, anything uh, to try to, uh, uh, to get at, the, at, at their opponent. Uh, whether before the, the, the election or during uh, the election. And this is what we, we are seeing regarding uh, Obama. Uh, this, what has been, called, has been called in recent weeks, scandals in the U.S., began uh, specifically last May, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on, on May 8, almost exactly one, one month ago. And when Hillary but the repercussions are still there, actually. And yeah, yeah. they might continue to be there until uh, next year's elections. They, they might. Mm -hmm. uh, when Hillary Clinton was called into a hearing in, uh, in Congress uh, uh, to defend uh, herself regarding the last year, uh, September of last year, Benghazi uh, attack on the consulate in, uh, uh, in, in Benghazi. And uh, she defended uh, uh, herself with much uh, uh, emotion and in a forceful way, arguing that uh, she didn't have personally much to, to do with it and uh, uh, her function functionaries in the State Department did not have, uh, 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 did not bear the responsibility. Uh, it is, uh, it happened, yani, and she said, and she said that these things might happen, and this was one of those unfortunate and bad uh, uh, incidents. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, uh, the Republican in Congress who wanted to get a shot at, uh, at uh, uh, Hillary Clinton and through Clinton at Barack Obama, were not, yeah, they did not do uh, uh, very weren't good. Weren't able to accomplish this, uh, they this were task not of, able. Uh, of, they, of, of uh, They were not able to, to achieve uh, a, a, a good shot uh, uh, on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, before, before having deep insights about these uh, three uh, scandals, I'd like to, uh, to know the thoughts of uh, Dr. Hilal Khashan. Hello again, Dr. Uh, Dr. Hilal. Uh, what's your evaluation for the first five months of uh, Mr. Barack Obama assuming the office of the president? The second term of a president is always more problematic than the first term. Usually scandals, when they happen, they happen in the second term. In the beginning, you brought up the Watergate issue, which, uh, well, of course, it happened during uh, the, the elections campaign for uh, Nixon's second term. So uh, second term is always problematic, and uh, the president needs to navigate his term with extreme care in order to show it to a good end. Unfortunately, Mr. Obama's second term has been marred by scandals, uh, beginning with, uh, beginning with uh, the incident in Benghazi and uh, the IRS scandal. In addition to the Associated Press uh, spying yeah, scandal and, as well. Yeah, actually the latest uh, scandal, the National, uh, the national uh, Security uh, a, a, the National Security Agency uh, scandal and the tappings you know, of the Associated Press and yeah. nine major United, United States internet companies. This latest incident has become a watershed and it may have some devastating repercussions for President Obama. Uh -huh. uh, in, in the studio, Dr. Naeem Salem hasn't neglected the, the impact of these scandals, but he has underestimated a bit uh, the, the impact of the scandals. Uh, do you underestimate them, or do you feel that uh, the repercussion would, ha would be of a great impact, especially uh, before the congressional elections next year? Dr. Hilal, can you hear me clearly? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I can. I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I just got it. Uh, yes. Well, now the question is, uh, the question is, I don't think what is at stake right now is next year's congressional uh, elections, because none of uh, Mr. Obama's uh, political enemies can take advantage uh, of the incidents, especially the latest one, the tappings, because Mr. Obama made sure to involve the Congress in uh, what was happening in the tappings and uh, in, uh, uh, in the surveillance of millions of Americans and foreigners, including their emails and daily telephone communications. So the Congress has been informed. Therefore, I don't really think that uh, uh, these issues, especially the tappings, will have much impact on the outcome of next year's congressional uh, elections. Uh, so Dr. Hilal Khashan shares, uh, shares the same view with you uh, regarding the impact. Uh, both of you are undermining to a certain extent the impact of these uh, three scandals. However, starting with the first scandal, which is ben Benghazi, and having had uh, manipulated the report, uh, uh, doesn't this have an influence on the credibility of the president and the, cre uh, the credibility of the administrators uh, at the White House? Actually, up till now, uh, those who want to have a shot at Barack Obama have not been able to prove that uh, Obama personally has, some, has direct uh, uh, responsibility in these uh, uh, three different types of, of scandals. Up till now, there is, there is no, no indication uh, of but, that. Uh, but Ms. And Rice, uh, who, was, uh, who was appointed by uh, Mr. Barack Obama as the coordinator of the national security uh, policy, uh, has, in, uh, has uh, said many wrong information, if you want, in many televised uh, appearances uh, about uh, anti-Muslim groups having, had, uh, uh, tr uh, having been a catalyst for the, for the attacks, uh, for the attacks in, uh, in Libya. And she was appointed by Obama now. Isn't he trying to, uh, to have a certain confrontation with the Republicans or what? Uh, what do you think? Well, uh, Susan Rice, uh, uh, she did that when she was at, uh, at the United Nations, yeah. uh, U.S. representative at, at the United Nations. And Obama at that time wanted her to be the next uh, uh, Secretary of State. Yeah. So she uh, uh, bore the responsibility of, of her uh, statement uh, while she was at the United Nations. And she lost the fight. Uh, uh, to get to uh, become a U.S. Secretary uh, of State. So she paid already uh, the price. So the, the responsibility... But really now she's appointed. She, he has appointed her as the coordinator of national security policy, uh, despite having had uh, this, uh, this mistake. Uh, so is he paying tribute for her for having made a mistake? Uh, well, uh, uh, Susan Rice, uh, she was highly loyal to, uh, uh, to, to Barack yeah, it's, uh, Obama it's, since, since it's the beginning. And he wanted really, and he still wants to pay her back, to, to appreciate her, her strong support uh, uh, of him. Uh, that's one. Another thing, he, w he wants also to put in the forefront uh, 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 some uh, black official in, in major position uh, in, in the administration. And she is among the more capable, if mm -hmm. not necessarily the most, the most capable. The, the most, uh, capable. So he, uh, he, uh, he wants to respect the power structure, maybe, of uh, the demographic power structure. That's why uh, uh, he was eager to, to have her the coordinator uh, rather than having someone else. Yeah, and if, if I were to advise him on, <laughs> on putting or not putting uh, uh, Susan Rice, I probably would be, would be against that. Uh -huh. She is not uh, uh, highly uh, uh, yani capable. She does not have the... Yeah, the, in fact, the broad many critics, many critics yeah. are being ra raised about the particularity of having had appointed e her. E exactly. Yeah. She does not have the, 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 the big brain, if we, if mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. might call mm -hmm. it uh, so. Uh, uh, to be uh, to handle uh, this responsibility, yeah, any national security uh, uh, post, uh, but he has chosen that. This in itself does not necessarily bear consequences on uh, the forthcoming election one year and a half from now. So the elections are really still uh, 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 way off. So by the time uh, the, uh, we get to the election next next year, in November of 19, uh, oh, uh, to, to 2014, yani the issues which are being debated now would have been behind us, mm -hmm. yani would be, have become be, be behind us. They may not have any, uh, sub, any effect on, on the election, particularly up till now. These various scandals, uh, uh, there has been no proof that, that he 
was directly responsible in any uh, of them, whether in the Benghazi attack. But the act was done. The act itself was done. Yeah, so yeah, having, talked about, having talked about Benghazi, I'd like to, uh, to know the insights of Dr. Hilal Khashan uh, yeah. regarding uh, spying on the reporters of the of Associated Press. How can you read uh, uh, this, this invasion of a privacy, this invasion of the right of freedom of expression? Uh, how can you, uh, you read this, uh, Dr. Khashan? Well, uh, Mr. Obama is an excellent communicator and a superb speak speaker. <laughs> I think this is what he will be doing. He has already called for a debate. Every time Mr. Obama finds himself in trouble, he calls for debate and calls on people to talk it uh, all over. So this is uh, this is what's going to happen right now. Call for a debate and present himself as if he is an innocuous college professor, uh, a law professor, or a, a spectator and there are culprits who did something bad without getting in touch with him. He, he isolates himself from the fact that he is the chief executive and uh, 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 I mean the commander of chief of uh, the country. Uh, but I, uh, yeah. but uh, Mr. Obama hasn't negated that he has collected data, uh, but he said that uh, uh, this, uh, this collection of data, according to him, is legal and necessary to combat terror. Exa exactly. That, okay, that's why he wants uh, to, to generate a national debate in order, in order to uh, protect himself and show that he was doing everything within his capacity in order to protect the U.S. What he will be doing is that he will tell people there is a trade-off between uh, civil rights, uh, constitutional rights, constitutional uh, uh, freedom, and security. And you American people will have to choose on the best way to manage this trade-off. I think, but there is no doubt in my mind that this, these incidents, especially uh, the spying on communications of the Associated Press, will create a credibility problem for Mr. Obama. By the way, he is not the first president to face this credibility problem. American presidents usually face such a problem during their second term. I think he will emerge unscathed toward the end despite the damage done to his uh, to his presidency. Had this happened in the first term, it could have had devastating impact on his re-election. Uh, public opinion polls in the U.S. still show that a majority of Americans... You, uh, you mean not his re-election, re re you mean having majority in the congressional elections? Because yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, had this happened during his first term, it ah, could have, okay, okay, having, it could okay. have impacted yeah, yeah. his re-election. Uh -huh. But now, yeah, I mean, that's another thing. But, uh, you know, by the time... Uh, but this depends, okay, the impact on uh, uh, congressional elections will have to do on the, on the time it will take to go over this issue and whether it will drag and become a genuine scandal similar to that of Watergate. I don't think we are going to witness such a, a scenario. We, we're not going to witness such resignation as uh, President Nixon has done uh, three years I, after, after, before the end of his term. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, what happened during, okay, during Nixon's administration was spying on the elections campaign of the Democratic Party. Uh -huh. Here, what uh, Obama did, what his administration did, was not kept uh, secret from the Congress. So congressmen, uh, congresspeople know exactly what was doing and they approved of it. On be for purposes of national security. And that's what I said in the beginning. His enemies will not be able to use the tappings against him in the name of, sa of, of national security. Uh -huh. uh, we will have uh, further insights about the third scandal right after the break. A break and we'll be back. The crisis of capitalism, the European impasse, the energy shortages, the emerging power of Asia, the economic power of the Arab world, the economic debate, informative, revealing, and progressive. It discusses the economic event of the world. Economic debate, where the numbers reveal the truth. Hello again to Global Insight. 
Uh, in fact, before the break, we talked about the first two scandals, uh, and uh, there, there is a controversy about the extent to which they have an impact on uh, Obama's uh, second term. Uh, the third scandal is the IRS and uh, the favoritism in dealing with the exemption from taxes between the conservative groups and the Tea Party members and other members. Uh, uh, how can you analyze this, uh, this scandal? Uh, before uh, getting into the scandal related to the IRS, I, need, uh, I would like to put in context the, the so-called scandal uh, uh, relating to the Associated Press uh -huh. Go ahead, uh, uh, reporters who number about 100 and who were uh, put on wiretapping by uh, uh, the Justice Department. So this is important. It was not the administration or Barack Obama who put those uh, uh, yani, uh, uh, to for on wiretapping. It was an, a court order. So really, uh, Barack Obama can, can say that this is the justice system who did that, which did that, and it is not me, which mm. is true. He, he has said that already. Yeah. He has said that. But, uh, but, but, the, but the critics, uh, the activists in the field of freedom of expression and of human rights said that the benefits of having spied on them uh, uh, don't, uh, don't uh, outweigh the, the cost, which is invasion of the, uh, privacy. And the, the justification for spying on them relates to a very serious matter, which is national security mm. uh, uh, and the issue relates to a CIA operation which aborted a attack last year on a uh, American uh, airliner by uh, a terrorist in, in Yemen. They aborted it and the CIA wanted to keep it uh, uh, secret uh, so that they will be able to, to uh, abort other uh, future operation uh, 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 that may happen in the future. So the leaks that which uh, happen uh, to the press uh, about this uh, secret operation, and by law, anyone uh, uh, who uh, yani, uh, uh, reveal secret operation in the United States, he will be put on trial. Mm -hmm. So there is a legitimate ground which uh, Barack Obama can defend why those uh, uh, suspects uh, uh, were targeted by the Justice Department, not by, by him. So I don't think this will have much effect on Barack Obama personally, uh, uh, whether in the Im immediate future or in the uh, uh, coming months. It is a purely legal uh, uh, issue. Okay. It, it was not supposed to be leaked according, according to the law in the United States because it was secret operation, ongoing operation by the CIA. Going to the Internal Revenue Service scandal, how can we read it? The Internal Revenue Service scandal uh, uh, relates to the IRS uh, 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 selectively uh, single, uh, singled out uh, certain groups in the uh, uh, United States, which, conservative groups which happened those, uh, to, to, yeah. be, to be conservative. It happened to uh, be uh, conservative yeah. or uh, it was purposeful? Uh, well, uh, it actually it is both. Uh -huh. it, it, it was more done on, on, on a purpose. Ah, okay. But the law in the, in the US uh, gives the prerogative for the federal government and even for uh, state government, you know, as far as taxation is concerned, to select anyone, anyone but for... to select uh, based on what? Uh, based on a certain criteria or randomly? Uh, maybe randomly, maybe mm. based on, 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 susp on suspicion. So but here's uh, so the issue. The, uh, the, coinc uh, the coincidence of having randomly selected them is that they were all conservative. That's why uh, here, here is the problem. Here's the scandal, actually. Yeah. Well, th you're right. You're right. Uh, but this has ha had happened before in the in the United States that for certain suspicion, which if the if the, the one who is in office a conservative administration, it may select uh, uh, percentage more liberal probably to uh, uh, to uh, uh, yani, uh, see if they have done any wrongdoing, and if a uh, uh, liberal administration or democratic administration, it may, s it may select more conservative to see if they have done uh, anything wrong regarding the uh, in internal revenue service. Hello, this is really not a purely legal question. It is mo uh, uh, somewhat ethical question. And why did you choose that uh, and not uh, 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 choose other? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but overall, Mm, uh, the damage on, Bar uh, on Barack Obama uh, himself 
may not have may not be of long term because he himself was not directly and there is involved, no proof uh, directly invo yeah, involved yeah. Uh, but, in but uh, you definitely know a lot about the attribution theory it's attributed to his assuming presidency yeah. Yeah. so whatever happens uh, in uh, in uh, the uh, the white house or at the level of the congress while assuming presidency might be attributed to him and might ruin his reputation or brand equity if you want to but say so if we want to co to compare this to what had happened with uh, Richard Nixon in, during the 1972 uh, uh, re-election for his second term. That the uh, uh, wiretapping and the spying on the Democratic Party headquarters at that time in uh, uh, Richard Nixon was directly Himself involved was, yeah. in that. That's so why he has to resign. This okay. is a fundamental difference between what is going on now. Yeah, the bureaucracies undertaking those actions uh, on their own uh, while with Nixon, it was he himself which he ordered the, the, the wiretapping of the Democratic so Party. So we can't talk about Obamagate. We can only I don't talk see, about I don't, I don't see it going. Despite, uh, the, despite the great comparison which, was, which has been tackled in the media, we can't talk about Obamagate uh, versus uh, Watergate. I, I think so. It, uh, it will okay. not get to that uh, point. Okay, I'd like to have uh, the, the thoughts of, uh, of Dr. Hashan regarding the, the revelation of the IRS targeting yeah. conservative groups. Uh, do you think it's purposeful or was it random? Is, is it uh, unethical, as Dr. Salim has said, or is it illegal? Well, of course, it wasn't random. Um, you know, the tax exemptions uh, focused on pro-Obama groups, and they completely excluded the conservative groups. But there is more to the issue than tax exemptions. We are talking about uh, intimidation. We are talking about uh, uh, illegally releasing tax returns to embarrass uh, uh, conservative groups. Uh, we are talking about the harassment of conservative uh, groups. And uh, even though the president may not be directly involved, as he can always uh, claim, the fact remains that his people did it, and in the end, he is accountable for their actions. Mm. Uh, in the beginning, when, when uh, Watergate happened, in the beginning, the president, President Nixon, denied any involvement, as will and as has Obama uh, been declaring. But we don't know if this issue will be allowed to go on f for sufficient time. We may come to learn something new. Uh, even though, having said that, I think in the end, Obama will claim a moral accountability for it, and I think uh, uh, the, uh, the IRS, IRS will, under, will change its policy, will become more accommodative of conservative groups, and I believe at the end this issue will lay to rest. Uh -huh. uh, so do you think as well that we can talk about Obama Gate? I don't think so. I mean, this issue, as notorious as it might be, of course, it, otherwise it would have been called scandalous, yet we cannot compare it uh, to Watergate, you know. Here you have a case of favoritism, and you don't really have Watergate uh, was uh, uh, was that was I mean destroyed the, the political uh, prospects of uh, Nixon because it involved a conspiracy. Here there is no conspiracy. There is no conspiracy, but maybe there is a synergetic effect between the three scandals themselves. So we can uh, we we might not need to look particularly or individually at each and every at ev and every scandal. Uh, looking from a macro level at three scandals at a time, uh, maybe this uh, th this has uh, triggered uh, the media to talk about uh, uh, the impact, the repercussions of yeah. such scandals. Absolutely, this is, this is an extremely valid uh, point. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, the onus lies on Mr. Obama. If he can exonerate himself from uh, the Benghazi incident and from the tappings, then the case against him with regard, with regard to the IRS will attenuate and he can save his neck. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, having, uh, do, you, do you have anything to add uh, about these three scandals, or can we ba move to another point? Basically, I, Basically uh, everything I, I, has I been, agree uh, has with been Dr. Uh, Hilal. Uh -huh. uh, the ramification of this uh, incident will not be long term on, on Obama, uh, unless uh, uh, Obama is proven in the coming weeks or, or months that he knew in advance, uh, or okay. he gave orders in, uh, in advance uh, for regarding, for instance, the I IRS targeting of conservatives. So the, if, here, if the, uh, the, here the problem will be unethical in, the, uh, in, in its face uh, as being conflict of interest, maybe uh, abusing power. Uh, so this, it, uh, this might it, trigger it could the problem be, more. It could, it could be seen as uh, abuse of power. 
uh -huh. to target uh, certain groups and not target uh, uh, the other. Uh, 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 if this is uh, uh, remains as it is now, uh, mean without a proof that Obama was behind it, it will not have long-term effect or significant long-term effect on, on uh, uh, Obama and the reputation of Obama or whether Obama really has really broken the law as Richard Nixon had, uh, had done. And it was proven at that time that Richard Nixon was, uh, had known in advance and had directed and gave the order in advance to do so. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, uh, five months after having had assumed the uh, office of presidency, uh, Obama is facing many economic, social, and political problems, first in the local arena, inside the U.S. What are these main challenges and these main problems that Obama uh, is facing, and uh, uh, do you think that he, uh, he will be able to tackle them successfully? Hello. Uh, in the first months of this year, 2013, uh, yani f f five months uh, now, we have seen regarding the uh, economic indicator and particularly unemployment uh, uh, statistics in, in the United States that the unemployment numbers uh, have either improved earlier earlier this year or, or have stayed, stayed the same at least. Stayed yeah. stable, stable. Less than 80%. Uh, uh, the unemployment uh, figures for uh, uh, in the U.S. L labor force. If we compare this with what is going on in Europe, in Europe it is cata catastrophic, catastrophic exactly. compared with, with the United States. The average now uh, at the level of the uh, European Union, 27 uh, countries, uh, European Union, the unemployment level uh, uh, in the European Union is more than 12 yeah. percent. But is it satisfactory to the U.S. Uh, citizens to have Europe as the benchmark? Uh, it is not so, but, yeah, but not. Be because there is a, a major crisis in, in Europe, which uh, counts more than 550 million people, and it is a ma the major trading partner with the uh, uh, United States, this is, this is bound to affect negatively the, the American uh, economy. economy. And the fact that the American e economy has not been dragged yet to an employment level or to serious economic uh, difficulties uh, similar or, or on, a, uh, on a par with the uh, European economic problem. So this uh, Barack Obama can argue that we have been doing rather well, and we could be in a worse situation than we, we are uh, now. Do you think that he's doing rather well uh, so far, uh, 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 have, uh, looking at the economic agenda? Uh, at the looking uh, at the overall economic numbers and statistics in the United States, yani, uh, uh, Obama is now doing better than uh, George W. Bush and uh, in, maybe in, in, uh, doing better than, in, in than he has uh, done in the first term as well, uh, yeah. bearing in mind the context in which he is operating. Uh, other, than the, as, other than the economic agenda, uh, we can uh, look at some ch challenges uh, on the social level. What are the main challenges or the political level? You name them. Uh, regarding the, the, the social level, the, the social agenda for uh, Obama has been focusing on uh, uh, education, spending more on education, spending more on social services, on social... Uh, the gun uh, control issue as well has, uh, has gained momentum, the gun control issue maybe. The gun control, I don't think he will be able to make a breakthrough on it. Uh -huh. Why? Because the gun lobby in the United States has been very powerful for decades, not years, for, but for, for de decades. And they, they claim you know, the, the, uh, the American Constitution gives the right to, America, to every American to bear arms to defend uh, so uh, the, themselves. So uh, th this might be considered a pitfall or not? Uh, yani it, uh, it might be a considered a, a, a pitfall for Obama, but it is not a, a, a setback for him because Previous president, including, uh, in, in, including so. Ronald Reagan, who was shot himself and his, his uh, aide uh, uh, was uh, incapacitated by, by, by the uh, assassination in, uh, attempt in 1981 in, in, uh, in Washington, was not able to make a dent and uh, uh, beat out the, the, the gun lobby. So we wouldn't be surprised uh, uh, in, uh, that uh, uh, Barack Obama will uh, be able to do better than, than Ronald Reagan. We will together explore deep insights about the other challenges on the local and international arena uh, that Obama is facing right after the break. A break and we'll be back.
wherever those are persecuted, that place we tackle case by case. Cases, where we believe that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Hello again to Global Insight. Uh, Dr. Hilal Khashan, uh, what, what is more appealing to the U.S. citizens? Uh, do you think the, uh, the uh, foreign policy or the national agenda is of more importance, especially in the context that U.S. citizens are facing nowadays? Sure. Uh, domestic policy uh, has always been far more important for American citizens than foreign policy. In fact, uh, the, the, the rating of a president is done mainly on the basis of his domestic performance. In his first term, Mr. Obama tried to work with international issues, including the Middle East, and, but he soon realized that uh, he would not make a breakthrough in foreign policy. Therefore, he returned to what he could do best, that is, uh, domestic politics. I think Mr. Obama will re be remembered for two things. In his first term, he passed uh, the National Health uh, Care uh, uh, program, which was a really significant development. Many presidents couldn't do it before him. In his second term, I think the president has already begun and will continue to work, to, to work towards uh, uh, introducing curbs on firearms acquisition, firearms control. And I think he will prevail. Bef by the time his term ends, I think he will do something to curb uh, gun, gun control, to curb gun acquisition in the U.S., and he will be remembered for that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dr. Naim Salim has talked about the main uh, uh, local issues or domestic issues which are of concern for Obama and for the American citizens. What are the main international challenges on the foreign agenda of Obama yeah. that he's supposed to tackle in the rest of his second term? Sure. I mean, him, he, he has no ambiguities about his objective. Mr. Obama wants to shift U.S. interest toward the Pacific. He is developing an Asian policy, especially on the shores of the Pacific Ocean. And uh, recent developments in the Middle East have delayed his plan to, for a full-fledged shift in the direction of Asia. And I think that's his main concern. I mean, the, uh, the international economy is beginning to shift in the direction of the Pacific, and the U.S. under Obama wants to accompany that shift. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, other than that, what are the main challenges internationally? Maybe uh, uh, establishing relations with China, having uh, more cooperation with Russia, uh, with the BRICS countries. Uh, what are the main challenges that he has to tackle in your opinion? Yeah, well, OK. China is part of his uh, Pacific uh, uh, orientation. Yeah, and he has yeah. had with Mr. Z an informal uh, summit, and we, uh, they exactly. have talked about many issues, especially the uh, they ta uh, they tackled the cyber sure. uh, the cyber security issue, which is one of the yeah. challenges sure. as well. Uh, I don't think Russia features prominently in Mr. Obama's foreign policy. I believe the only reason why uh, the Americans continue to engage Russia is because the latter has a respectable uh, uh, nuclear arsenal. I mean, that's the main concern why the Americans continue to engage them. Uh, but economically, I mean, I mean, the main thrust of Mr. Obama's foreign policy is economic, and I don't think uh, uh, Russia has much to offer by way of his uh, a new economic interests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, I mean, uh, dealing with uh, countries such as uh, South Africa, Brazil, and uh, uh, India are of certain economic uh, importance, but uh, again, the salient feature of his policy has to do with the uh, tigers and rising mini tigers uh, in the uh, Pacific. Uh, I, I think that you're, uh, I don't know if you are over uh, stressing on the economic aspect. Uh, uh, aren't you underestimating to a certain extent the, uh, the challenges, uh, the po uh, geopolitical challenges in the Middle East, for example, the, uh, the, ch uh, the challenges yeah. in, uh, in Pakistan, in, uh, in Afghanistan, uh, where we've witnessed the three, yeah. three, uh, three uh, members of the U.S. Uh, tr uh, troops have died and seven the other day. Uh, yeah. So what about these factors? Yeah, well, I don't think uh, America's foreign policy will be based on the loss of three men in Afghanistan. But uh, it's uh, yeah. an example, not to be generalized, yeah, yeah, but it's an example. I know, but we need to remember one thing. Mr. Obama has pledged during his 
first election campaign to disengage the U.S. from Afghanistan and yeah. Iraq. And he did so. So he wants to get done with Afghanistan. He, did, he got done with Iraq. And he does not want to focus on spots of trouble where he cannot achieve a breakthrough. And that's why he gave up on the Middle East and he gave up on uh, the peace talks between the Palestinians and the Israelis. He wants to, to work on issues of importance to the American people. And when the American people about issues, the, what comes to, to mind first is the economic uh, issue. And to tell you the truth, in my opinion, we can never overemphasize the importance of the economic dimension. After all, capitalism and American-type democracy is predicated on economic performance. And on economic power as well. Absolutely. absolutely. Uh, so just uh, Dr. Khashan said that, uh, he, uh, that Obama has given up uh, some geopolitical issues in, uh, in certain places in the world. Uh, is, for example, the, are the attempts for Geneva too underestimated or are, are they of importance for the Obama administration, uh, Dr. Salem? Uh, and what other challenges can you, can you brief us with before talking about a particular issue which you uh, want to talk about? Uh, Regarding uh, U.S. engagement in the Middle East, I think the United States under Obama has been going in the direction of, of military disengagement in the Middle East rather than more engagement in the Middle East. As Dr. Uh, Hilal has mentioned, uh, uh, withdrawal, gradual withdrawal from Afghanistan, previous withdrawal uh, uh, um, uh, from yeah. Iraq. And I see that the Americans uh, uh, are going in the direction of less uh, 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 proactive uh, uh, involvement in Syria. They are definitely engaging with the Russian on what you mentioned, the uh, Geneva uh, conference, is the forthcoming of Geneva too. But I don't think the United States is in any way uh, uh, willing or planning to escalate in Syria or to in be involved with militarily uh, in Syria. This is passive. Because of the economic concern that Dr. Hilal Hassan has mentioned? W major reason One is, of the is economic is that. Uh, uh, concern. But the other reason is the f are the failures in the previous US policies in Afghanistan as well as in Iraq. And we see the new development now in Turkey, the yeah. fa facing uh, uh, Recep Tayyip uh, uh, Erdogan. I think the United States is, is, is not uh, 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 yani, uh, displeased with, what, uh, with the problems uh, uh, facing uh, Erdogan. Uh -huh. Why? Because Erdogan has been, over the past months and two years, at the back of the American wanting, yeah, yeah, wanting them to get involved. Escal to, to, to escalate their commitment, es maybe. Escalate yeah. and, and encouraging and inciting the United Just States. Just between to quotations, to uh, you said that they are not displeased in what's, uh, what's taking place in Turkey. Are they displeased or not in what has taken place in uh, Syria and particularly in Qusayr? Uh, definitely, this is a major setback for any state that has declared for the past two years a, 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 a adversity uh, against the uh, uh, Syrian government and President Bashar al-Assad uh, uh, specifically. The, uh, uh, the victory, if we want to call it, or the onslaught which was uh, done on Qusayr by the Syrian army is a major turning point in the war. Uh, in Syria and in the war on Syria by foreign, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. foreign actors and foreign powers. So it, it has a fire back effect on, uh, on Obama's administration? Definitely. Uh, this okay. this, this have, has caused and will cause uh, uh, the United States to go more into de-escalation and disengagement in Syria uh, gradually, even though it will not uh, raise its hand entirely. It will mm -hmm. continue. It, to can't, it will continue to try to create a problem for the uh, Syrian uh, regime. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, in the not only in the uh, forthcoming weeks, in the forthcoming uh, months, as well as in the forthcoming years. So I don't see, uh, unfortunately, I don't see a, a total end of the crisis in Syria in the uh, period ahead in the coming months. Even though I would, as I see it, the regime shall be able. I say shall be able, not necessarily will be able to to uh, uh, conclude the battle in, uh, in, in Syria, uh, in, in the center, in, in, in ha, uh, uh, after Qusayr, Homs, Hama, then the countryside of, uh, of, of Damascus, then Dir'a, and then it will move to, uh, uh, to conclude uh, the uh, research, uh, insurgency in northern Syria. Uh, aside Halab, aside from that. Uh, and, and oh, okay. uh, yeah. uh, but even though it, uh, it may be able to, ex to expand its uh, control over much of the country, the 
adversaries and the enemies of Syria, including uh, uh, United States, uh, France, it's Britain, uh, Turkey, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, will continue to try to cause uh, uh, trouble and problems. Uh, and for the we will see uh, uh, intermittent uh, bombing, mm -hmm. intermittent uh, uh, attacks uh, in Syria, see. and this will not end up So abruptly, this, is, uh, this, uh, this will continue to be one of the concerns and challenges for, uh, for, the for Obama for and, his foreign, uh, and his foreign agenda. Uh, just, uh, you've, uh, you've, uh, you've told me that you want to tackle a certain issue regarding, to, uh, regarding the scandals. Which we we, we, were, we okay. were talking uh, just about, briefly, about, about half, half yeah. of this uh, uh, episode, about, uh, episode scandal. about uh, scandal. There is a scandal which was uh, 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 written about in, in the uh -huh. United States, but we didn't uh, see the major, any of the major media uh, covering in, in, it. Uh, uh, in the Arab world uh, 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 covering it. And it, uh, it involves Sarah Palin. Ah, uh, the former the, governor the, of Alaska. The former governor of Alaska and the former uh, candidate for, the, the, for the U.S. presidency. Uh, uh, five, representing five, the Republicans. A Republican candidate five, five, five years ago. When the attack uh, in Boston, the terrorist attack in, in Boston uh, took, took place, place. Uh, two, two months ago, she was brought on one of the major TV station uh, network in, in the United States, Fox News, and she was asked what the United States should uh, do uh, in, in response to this terrorist attacks in the, in the United States. So look. Uh, at, at her uh, uh, re uh, response, uh, uh, which would give us an idea about the, the stereotyping in the mm -hmm. United States against Arabs and, and Muslims uh, and, and Muslim in general. She said the following. Uh, These uh, uh, suspects who allegedly carried out the Boston Marathon attack, we know they were Muslim Oof. from the Czech Republic. <laughs> she heard. She heard that they were <laughs> Chechnya. She, she linked Chechnya to the, to, Czech, to, Czech to the Czech Republic. She said, "I bet you, I speak for a lot of Americans when I say I want to go over there right now and start teaching those folks a lesson. And let's not stop at the Czech Republic. Let's go after all Arab countries. Uh. All Arab countries. <laughs> the Arabians need to learn that they can't keep coming." over here and blowing stuff up. Let's set off a couple of nukes in Islamabad. Bump down Prague. She's linking <laughs> Islamabad to, to uh, Prague. So, so thorough then, analysis, actually. Then bomb, <laughs> then bomb the heck out of Tehran. We need to show them that we mean business. She continued going. Uh, the the uh, interviewer on Fox News t told her, trying to correct her, well, Islamabad is the capital uh, of, of Pakistan, which isn't Arab. <laughs> He's cor correcting her. And Tehran is the capital of, of Iran, which is predominantly uh, Persian. But I do see your point. He's trying uh, he to. Does. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, Czech Republic isn't really an Arab or even Muslim country. I don't think so. Do see, the, the uh, interviewer said. But otherwise, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Uh -huh. Look, this, yeah, these yeah. are conservative in the United States. Makes a lot of sense. I think most Americans wish Obama would step up and lead on this one. Palin, however, didn't take kindly to being corrected and defend and defended uh -huh. her analysis by saying, "Steve, yeah, uh, yeah, that's I, probably one of the most ignorant things I've heard." How is the Czech Republic not a Muslim country? You saw those brothers. They were Islamic and they were Chechen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just yes, uh, let, let us Yes, let us they, they, they were Muslim and they were ethnic Chechen. Okay. We're <laughs> and so on and so <laughs> forth. Thanks for it gives us an idea yeah, about, about the overgeneralization the, and the stereotyping. The generalization yeah. and the stereotyping, okay. particularly among conservatives Definitely. in the United States, you, your regarding point, Arab and Muslim in general. Uh, your point uh, is uh, very clear and you can suffice with it. And thanks for having added uh, of a humor by the end of this episode. I'd like to, uh, to end with Dr. Hilal Khashan. Dr. Hilal, uh, very briefly, in a minute, we've talked about many challenges and about the scandals. Do you see, uh, do, uh, can you see a, w a window of opportunity which might strengthen Obama uh, in uh, the rest of his uh, uh, tenure? Well, if, if anything, his achievements will have to be domestic. I think he will continue uh, the shift towards uh, Asia. Uh, he will try to continue his uh, domestic programs, mainly emphasis on education, uh, giving more uh, 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 technical tools to students, especially in, in, in impoverished areas, and also works toward the uh, 
to passing a law to limit uh, firearms. Uh -huh. If he does that, then his achievements will be remembered for many years to come. Okay, and this might be an opportunity. Dr. Hilal Khashan, a political science professor at, uh, at the American University of Beirut, I highly thank you for your deep insights, and I'd like to thank you as well, uh, Dr. Naim Salem, uh, a professor of international law at Notre Dame University. Uh, thanks for your deep insights. Uh, I'd uh, like to thank uh, our viewers uh, after having uh, had this episode about the scandals and uh, their impact on the second congressional uh, elections in the U.S. and the other challenges that Obama is facing and whether he will be able to face them or not successfully. Uh, to, to have an answer for these questions, among many others, you can but stay tuned to Global Insight. Thanks for watching us.